Hi, today I'll be talking about validity and reliability for the EDUCAS Psychology A level. Now, first of all, what is validity? It is how accurate an observed effect is in research. There are two major types of validity, and the first one we'll look at is internal. Now, that's how accurately the study measures what it sets out to measure. The first type is face, and that's how accurate the research tool looks on the outside. Content, which is how well it actually measures the topic focus. Construct, which is how theoretically accurate the tool is regarding the topic focus and previous literature that has, that has been published. And concurrent, which is how well the tool mirrors a well-established tool that has been previously used in research. The second type is external, and that's how accurate the study is beyond itself in the outside world. The first type is predictive, which is how accurately can the tool predict similar behaviours to the one you're studying. Population validity concerns how accurately the sample represents the target group. Is it varied? Do you have many different people to represent the target group you're focusing on? Ecological, which is how accurately the study represents real life. How realistic are your conditions in your research? And temporal, which is how accurate a study is in regards to a time period, whether that's today's society, olden times, or even the future. There may be certain threats to validity, and we can avoid them carrying out specific procedures. If we focus on internal validity first, for face, we could just ask someone to check it and make sure that it looks like it could measure the topic focus. For content, experts could check and feedback, again, if it actually measures the topic focus. For construct, experts could check the relevance to theories and literature and, again, feedback to us, their thoughts. And then for concurrent, we can compare the results from both tools and look at the correlation. So if you carry out the research using your tool and the well-established tool and then compare the data, if it's a high correlation, that means it's high validity. For external data, for example, predictive, the tool data, our tool data can be compared to data already published for that similar behaviour. And again, if there's a high correlation, then there's high validity. For population, you just have to ensure your sample is large and varied. For ecological validity, it's best to carry out field data as that is the most natural condition for the participant, or just make sure that even if it is in a lab research, you include realistic and natural conditions as much as possible. And for temporal, you can check whether old theories are still relevant today. Moving on to reliability and its threats. Reliability is how consistent an observed effect is in research. Again, there are two major types, internal, which is how consistent a study is within itself, and external, which is how consistent the study is in the real world. To avoid threats to reliability, first of all for internal reliability, we have the split half method, which measures if all parts of a test are measuring the topic focus. For external reliability, we have two methods, the test retest, where it measures how consistent the participants' answers are, and iterator test, where how consistent the researcher's analysis is measured. The split half test can be performed in this way. First, your participants complete their questionnaire, then you take the answers and you split them in half, and this can be in whichever way you want. You can take, for example, the answers for the odd numbered questions and put them together and then the even number of questions and put them together. Then using a scale, you score the two halves. And if there's a high correlation between the scores, then you know you have high internal reliability. The test reset retest method, the participants complete a test and then after a time gap of let's say two weeks, three weeks, a month, they complete the test again. Then the answers are compared, but each participant answers compared to their own, not anyone else's. If there's a high correlation between the two sets of answers, then you know you have high internal external reliability. Sorry. For the interrater test, two professionals or more collect data on the same topic using the same research, same procedures, but they do it independently. Then at the end, they come together and they compare their data. And if there's a high correlation between their, da their data, that shows that they have high external reliability. So that's all on validity and reliability. The EDUCAST component two, psychology A level. Hope you enjoyed and good luck.